So we're going to create a 2D um, paddle game, paddle brick game. And in this lesson, we're just going to practice setting it up um, and practicing some of our uh, design skills and um, interface skills and also creating a clean interface. So just some practice setting stuff up here. So this is one I've set up and we're just going to create a new one. So let's create a new project. Make sure you're in your own directory here so you know where your projects are. Make sure it's 2D. I'll call it Paddle Game. I think I already have a 1 and a 2, 3. And let's create it. Okay, first thing we can see is that it's a 2D game. So it's uh, going to be no Z space, no depth. So let's go ahead and set up the walls. So let's um, right click on the assets, create, and let's create a sprite. And we're going to create a square. And let's call it a wall. Let's drag it in. And we don't want our wall to be uh, white. So let's just create like a red color. There we go. And let's size this thing. First of all, let's look at our camera. Oh, we're going to create a new camera anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let's uh, take our wall. And let's scale it. I think it's on the Y. Yeah, about 10. And let's click over here and hit F so we can zoom in a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's take our wall. I mean, we could type here if we wanted to. That's at minus 8. We could make it minus 10. Maybe minus 11. So it was in the X. So the XX is minus 11. That actually looks pretty good. So, and it actually seems to be okay for our size. It's a scale of 10. Um, if you want to make it bigger, we can just create a camera that would uh, line up. So we'll just start with 10. And then if you want, you can expand on it. Um, since we like the way that is, we're going to right click and duplicate it. And then let's move it to positive 11. Okay. And we're going to uh, right click again, duplicate. And let's rotate it. I think it's on the Y. Let's try this. And let's move it out a little bit. Nope, that didn't work. How about the Z? Perfect. So we can tell it's not going to be big enough, but let's move it up some. Five looks okay. And let's center this thing so it's zero. So I'm using all these commands here. I mean, I could be. <coughs> moving and rotating and scaling up here too but I'm going to use this so and let's expand that 20 25 there we go that's a pretty good wall 
Okay, so now we've got our wall set up. And we will put some colliders on here. A couple minutes, we want the thing to collide off. But right now, we're just going to keep going with the setup. So anyway, um, let's clean this up. So we're going to create game object. Create empty. Come up here, let's call it walls. And then we're going to put this down up there. Hold shift. Nope. Hold shift, get all those three, let go of the shift, and then drag it down to walls. So we get it nice and clean. Okay, now we need to create some uh, bricks. Well, let's create a paddle. So uh, again, Right click, create, sprite, try it again, create, sprite and square. Let's call it uh, brick. No, let's call it paddle. And for the paddle, uh, let's make it. First of all, let's drag it out here. And let's make it blue. So we're clicking right here. Blue. There we go. So that camera's pretty zoomed in. We could maybe make it like seven. That's better. So I just changed the size here. And maybe, maybe make it 10. A little bit more of a zoom on it. That's probably a little bit better. And let's take our paddle. And let's scale it. And let's try this. 3. No. Let's try it on the y, X. Not on the X either. Let's try it on the one. Let's put 4. Take a look at it. So I'm going to make that minus five is about right. For some reason, it's not scaling the way I want it. And I want no. That paddle, so that's down there, okay. So, we make that one twelve. Make that two. There we go. Okay, so we can probably just leave that at one. Now we got the X working. Maybe make this five. Too big, maybe? Four? That's about right. Okay, so the last thing we need course is a ball. That's not the last thing. We need a couple more things. So right click, create, sprite, and a circle. Ball, enter, move it up right about there. So 
make it yellow. Let's look to the camera. Not bad. Okay, so um, now we need to create some bricks. And we're going to practice keeping the clean interface. So I would call these all uh, objects, game objects. I'll just call them objects. So I'm going to right click down here, create folder, objects. Okay, I'm going to shift here, shift here, and I'm going to drag all those over to my objects folder. So, oh, nice and clean. Okay, so now we create some bricks, so right click, create, and sprites, and again we need a square. You could create diamonds if you want to have your bricks hit diamonds instead, but I'm going to call these bricks. I'm going to drag one up, yeah, right about there. I'm going to give it a what color should we use? Light blue? And I'm going to right click and duplicate. Move it out a little. Right click and duplicate. Move it out a little. And right click and duplicate. Move it out a little. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a a folder for bricks and then we're going to start duplicating these. But let's go game object, create empty. Let's call it bricks. Enter. Hold that down. Um, hold down shift. Let go. Drag them all down to bricks. Uh, did that work? No. There we go. Now, I'm going to right click and duplicate. I got all four of them. Right click, duplicate. Got all four of them again. Um, I'm going to hold this down. Hold this down, get them all. Right click, duplicate. Right click, duplicate. You could duplicate both rows if you wanted to. And should we have one more? Yeah, right click, duplicate. Perfect. Then we probably want to move our brick down a little and our ball down a little. Okay. Now notice this is what we want to see. This is for the interface, okay? What we don't want to see is this and that. Now it's all over the place. Can't see what we have. So keep a clean interface. Um, could drag my bricks over to my objects, huh? That's all I got is right here. Um, a clean interface is what we want. So now we'd be set to start programming the game and um, start having the ball bounce off the brick and start collecting some of these, or bounce off the paddle and hit the bricks. All right, so um, set up your own scene. Um, you can make your camera bigger, smaller. You could actually you know, create a new camera if you wanted to and just zoom in, align with these. Um, and then create whatever color walls you want and practice keeping um, all your objects and materials in a um, folder with the name on it. Name your script appropriately. This is paddle game. Don't just call it script or game. You have no idea what that game is. And you'll be making a lot of games. So when you make a game, name this what it is. When you make a script, like if we're going to have um, collect 
or something, name your script um, for what it's doing. If it's moving the paddle, if it's a player controller controlling the pad paddle or controlling the ball, or ball control, name your script so you know what it is. Don't just call it script or some abbreviation. You have no idea what that is, and anyone that's working with you has no idea what it is. So anyway, give this a try. Remember, 2D game, we're making sprites. There is no Z space. Though you can't come up when we start doing uh, some physics and stuff. You can see there's physics 2D right there. And you can create 2D objects too, which of course your sprites are up here. But anyway, all right, give it a try. Let me know if you